to welcome back to Warps and Pylons. Let's play some more Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Semyon. We're going for achievement. Shemot is not. We have to convert all of Egypt to Jewish and uh, turn on some sort of aspects of faith. Speaking of, I probably forgot to click that button for a while now, so we should definitely go ahead and celebrate, grab some of that government for reform progress for free. Also, some claim strength on our air, which is actually technically useful because we took a woman as our heir, which uh, apparently people are not looking on too kindly, dumb as they are. Anyway, uh, we're kind of limited in the amount of Egypt we can take before we have to fight Mr. O. We're not currently at the point where we can't fight Mr. O. <laughs> but hey, uh, we're going to be working on that. Plan is to take a lot of Africa, to take Arabia, which we did block off nicely here for uh, Ottoman incursion. And then uh, probably do a lot with our colonization over here. Grab a bunch of Spice Islandy things. That's not the Spice Islands, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, speaking of Spice Islands, let's take uh, some land of these non-Belgians here. I don't know why they have a Belgian flag, but uh, they're not Belgian. Build a very good claim on Intrapura. Now, there's a war brewing here. It hasn't started yet. I think we should consider increasing the size of our transport navy. Well, maybe we don't need to. Maybe just start sending individual folks over here and then we take a chunk out of Banjar before we do anything else. Now, declaring war on Banjar will mean fighting Brunei. So we're talking decent amount of folks. Not the highest amount of tech, but a decent amount of folks. And not the worst tech either. So it's not, not a fight. And we're definitely going to lose on the sea. So we have to place all troops we want to use here. And then we go around and crush Banjar and Brunei. And um, I'm not going to take control of these for nine provinces, but that's going to have to be okay. Technically, we could try to drop somebody off here. Mm, let's do a little scouting mission here, actually. Because if there's n if there are no Brunei nine troops on mainland, is this Java? It feels like that's Java. Never know. Feels like that's Java though. Um, then we could maybe quickly take control of at least these two places. We probably won't get bank uh, here because, again, naval supremacy. But these two things would be nice. And then who else are we going to fight? Blam began. I think Blam began is like somebody random. What's a Blam began? Oh, it's you. Okay, you, you were just not gonna touch. Because even if we landed troops over here on Lombok, then we wouldn't be able to cross over to Bali. So, no. But yeah, we're gonna take full control of Banja, so I think that's fine. They might ship over and hurt our colonies, but that's probably acceptable. Let's do a little bit of scouting, and then probably bring over some folks. Um, if we do bring over some folks, and we want to, we're gonna need more folks. Eh, it keeps taunting me. Uh, we also need to spend some more of that mill power. So, well, let's see who wants some development. Kiss my yo. Um, probably not kissing any yo's. Medwa. Oof. Zabit will only take one click. Mauritius will take a lot of clicks. It's not super expensive. It's not cheap. But it's not like... Disruptively expensive. But then again, I don't know that we care about trade on Mauritius. I don't think we do. It's the Zanzibar node. So at least we don't care for now. For now. Um, so maybe we want to go elsewhere still. It's just Mauritius is so unbalanced. So there's a lot of room for mill development there. It's just really only mid I want to do, so... Oof. 
there's room for a few clicks and axe. Um, well, that's actually quite expensive already. I think it's just gonna have to be what it's gonna have to be here. A bit of a yikes. Uh, we're running missionary strength. Are we doing conversion? Yeah, we're doing a dirt aren't we? Well then, let's do the one click we can do over in... Oh wait, there's Murica here. Murica actually has a decent amount of room. And it's still in the Gulf. Excellent, 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 excellent. So Mogadishu is also running missionary strength? <laughs> For how much longer? Not that much longer. Okay. Third time's a charm. Uh, what about Kismayo after all? What's the same place? No, that's not the same place. So technically, but it is in the wrong trade node. Fourth time's a charm. <laughs> we had Medwa. Medwa is in Ethiopia. Medwa will not take a lot of clicks, but we can at least do one. I'm going to use a card development, even though... Oh, we can do two. Very nice. Two clicks. That should give me enough time to then go for Murka there. Murka. Um, I want to have more books. Let's just spam a few Central African warriors. I don't know, around here or something. Because we need a decent army to fight the um, these folks. And also to fight our rebels at home. Okay, Spy Network says, well, quote unquote Spy Network, my spying boats say there's no enemies over on, I'm just going to call this Java, on Java. Which means uh, we can just drop like a few troops here. And grab that while the rest focuses on mainland Brunei or Borneo, I guess. What does my colonist do now? Oh, this is free again. Yes, yeah, so let's try Wulna again. Hope we don't get migrated onto it this time. A pawn, migrated a pawn. And I guess we'll use our transports to move these two folks over to that place. Come on. Come on, transports. There you go. Merge. Attach. Get there. To suppress the, the natives there, of course. Keep coring stuff. Admin points are a bit rare around these parts. Anything I have left to do with to actually do some admin things. That's a lot of folks. Ghetto. Come on, surely some place now has the edict going. No. They keep hitting states with only one province in it. Crazy. Sort by Unity. Find a decent... Oh, these are not particularly decent. What about Sam Pitt? Oh, Sam Pitt is you. Oh, so this did not become Jewish. Oh, the other one became Jewish because there was no population there. I see, I see, I see. And this one kept the kept the religion of the natives. Which makes trade companies more more interesting. Especially with what you just saw our um This governing cap being becoming a problem again. Then again, with our festivals, we might actually have a shot at governing cap not being too much of an issue. Well, it won't do tons, but it will do a little bit. Because we should be able to click that button. And you folks, I want you overseas, but for now, I probably want you over in Beja to deal with those rebels. Surely you're not a lot. How many Bejaes are there? Eight? Everything's an eight, so yes. Uh, I have a leader for you, I do. Just have you all be in Beja. 
we lack a seat in the parliament. Mm -hmm. Development, development, development map mode. Pick up anything new, greenish? I mean, I guess for you, but you're not fully cored or cored at all. No, you're not fully cored. Okay, I can make you a trade company, so we can even do it on our own continent. I think I wondered that a couple of episodes ago. But that seems to not be a hindrance at all. We're just gonna hit nine development places. Ten. Here you go, America. Frick yeah. Everybody go beach and fighting. I'm tempted to not turn on. Eh, actually. I was about to say I'm tempted to not turn on the auto suppression here. But I think we already get now. We get very close to full suppression already by just standing here. So we might as well use this to get something else going. Again, the map mode is freaking confusing. But hey. You guys' job would be to suppress the Mamluk hidden remnants over here. These peasants did finally um, march off to Ellsworth, so that's kind of neat. I mean, all according to plan and all, but still kind of neat. Mm, do I want to keep... Oh god, that overextension is hurting us. We need to do something about corruption at some point. Don't like how corrupt we are. I think right now I'm just going to go to force limit with my units. Excellent supplies. Excellent. Uh, speaking of excellent, how is my... We have a lot of trade power in the Gulf. We might be looking into investing sometime soon into a move of the trade capital over to the, to the Gulf. So we get rid of this 60%, 70% negative modifier here. And we'd be able to grab a bunch of money. A bunch more of the money. We already collect a decent chunk. But I think we're gonna make more once we once we move. I think. And dirt is done good. What about Quan Fudder? It's kinda slow. Surely now somebody will have the edict going. No, 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 I did the I did the island. That's its own state. So what about Bayuda? I had something where I needed a lot of unity, didn't I? I feel like I have something that requires me to have a lot of unity. Was it a mission? Convert the conquered, right? 90%. Certainly a number. Oh. Hejazi separatists versus Mamlukian peasants. Also overcapping and losing my claims on these folks, which we want back. Uh, I'm gonna rebuild my network here. I'm gonna come home from the fake Belgians. Felgens. And I'll take Mogadishu, Mogadishu, and have it be all developing stuff. And we go with the milk licks there. America. Uh, Cornwall, please. As much as you can. Because that overextension is killing me. Not literally, but close enough. These are all fine. Bajans are gonna get crunched. With the Bajan crunch being done, is it time to ship overseas? 
These are going to be Malukians. That's my northern army. These are going to be Shamari, Inhaba, Inchafa, something, something. That's your job. Yeah, I think. I think we might start shipping you over. So, Radi, maybe you want to be here instead. And I think I'm just going to slowly but surely have you folks go overseas. Probably from there. And you can already cross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, over here, right? Yeah. I'm going to use auto transport in a moment. Ooh, I have 30,000 folks in the south, too. Uh, you still need it here. Uh, I mean, a bed, I suppose. Not really. So there's more stuff. More stuff available. If you need it. Dead diplomat. Um, how about... Hmm. What are we talking about? Okay money, but not insane money. Mm, so I don't know that I want to run a level 2. Although they're not too expensive. We don't need Colonial range. I don't know what we would need to deploy rep for right now. So I guess I could just take level 1 trade efficiency person. As much as I wouldn't mind having some extra some set of points so we can move the set of trade without any repercussions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's talking to those folks. Now, where are those gonna Mamluk? Where are those gonna Mamlukians? Yes. Where are those Mamlukians going to pop up? Uh, lots of places. Everything up here. Everything over there. So, what about thirteen? We're probably correct in Fayum. Uh, I don't know if sixteen k is already enough to potentially cause a double spawn. I'm going to assume that that's not the case. So sitting in Fayum seems like a great choice. Not a great workshop. Not the greatest marketplaces. Uh, we have a trade fleet to rebuild. I think that's where my man is going. Having wasted them on war. Oh, somebody finally took... Miltech. I say finally, it's a bit unfortunate that it happened in November rather than January. Because we could have saved another ahead of time thing. But it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be only 10% ahead of time, that'll be it'll be fine when we take it in January. Oh, that should be quite alright. Better than fine. Um where's my boat at? There's my boat's at. Now that's going to be a bit of an arduous process. Oh, we lost all the big claims. <laughs> that's a bit annoying. But we made good use of them, right? It's a bunch of a dial that we didn't take, but otherwise we did quite well with those horny claims. <laughs> horny. Um, yeah, build spine network on you. Fabricate on you. I think I'm gonna call that good enough. Eh, might as well take one more. I think. I do think. So it is January, so we take Militech, right? 10% ahead of time. 10% ahead of time. We get the innovativeness for it, which is great. We get tactics and better infantry. Can I afford to swap right now? Not while the Mamluk Inceptors are there. <laughs> that would have been a very, very sad swap of units. But now I should be able to swap. Oh, another Caleb down. Um, we are very morale so we want aggressive morale pips. Uh, do I just... These ones have more defensive morale as well, which we maybe don't super need. Maybe I'm gonna go with the African Plains Warriors here. Uh, could be... No, I think I like those. Good enough. 
That's one of the weirder things in EO4, I must say. <laughs> Any new rabbits? No. Wait, I'm losing money? How am I losing money? I'm probably paying to reinforce these people. So I don't like losing money. Uh, that again. <laughs> it's important that you give me 100 admin power, rabbites. Thank you. Very important. Cordor. Okay, money's back to being positive. Very positive indeed. Must have paid quite the princely sum for that. Um... Wait, did I not turn the edict on here? Whoops. Pretty sure I meant to. Uh, now, does anybody have an edict going? Was Beyuda another single province state? Dongola, um, Dongola. Yeah, it's just another one of those. Uh, so much work. Senar. And yes, I could just not click the enforce and then take the extra month. It would probably be a lot more money efficient. But I don't like that. I want to get that unity up. I want everybody to be nice and Jewish. Give me that cash money. Turn off the eating dog if I'm allowed to. I'm not. And find ourselves somebody else. Um, now, where did I just go? Into Senar. Another one. Where there's only one non Jew. So, Anchor, Anchor, Anchor. I know you're around here. I know you. There you are. Oh, look at that. It's going to be two places I can convert. Isn't that insane? But let's start with Ankobar. And do a quick pass on the Elix, I think, before we pass on, because uh, I think I have a lot of them. A lot of them Elix. We don't want any encouraged development going anymore. I think the encouraged force in Hadramut is irrelevant, as is the one in Orsa and in Asir. We're doing Dongola, we're doing Kershaw, um, oh, nine days. One year in Tigray, so that's probably done. And three years, I mean, it's in Kershaw development anyway. So next month I should be able to turn off development in Mogadishu. There you go, no edict. And in Dongola, we're done in Dongola, right? Pretty sure we are. Turn that off. Some cleanup can be can be nice. What's this? Oh, it's just natives fighting each other. That's fine. That is fine. I do wonder whether we're looking for a conquistador. Is there is this wasteland or is this traversable? might be wasteland but this coast might be I mean this is a real province I don't know yeah it's probably not wasteland I think I'll allow myself the luxury of conquistador mm, not the worst as a general okay so we can't this is actually wasteland but this is not so we can go over there right, can I just put you on the hunt for the seven cities or something does that work around here? Yeah, yeah. Something, something. I don't know that you can find the seven cities in Australia, but we can certainly try. Uh, this. Hmm. That's unfortunate. But I think I'm going to do this manually. For now. Because of the amount of attrition that the boats are taking on the way over, 
I don't think I can just afford to allow a auto transport because then they just go and sink after run three or something if I'm not actually giving it uh, looking at it myself. Gain a free stability. Uh, yes. I have that. Okay, it does seem to be working with the Hunt for the Seven Cities. Nice, nice. Ungraceful natives getting crunched and crunched. And no debate. So that means our colonist is gone. I do want them back. So I'm pretty sure we're going to take charter colonies again. And we pay with... With what? It's all horrible. That's for the praising of local... I spent the navy tradition, that's fine. I probably don't like supporting populists. I mean, government reform, uh, government thingy move up is kind of cheap for us. Oh, but I really want the next tier. 250 governing cap, that's gonna be great. Um, so, we're not clicking that. We're not supporting any populists. So, go jam. And sober. Go jam. Yeah, it's certainly a place, but I mean, 20% autonomy will be fine. At least we get it to drop down then. And so be it. Sober. Well, that was a pretty good place, but yeah. I, I assume it's. All going to be good places because this uses the places that I have um, seats of parliament in, I'm pretty sure. And they are high, uh, high development places. But yeah, I'm going to grant that local autonomy. I'm going to grant that other local autonomy. I guess I'm going to spend nine dip. Don't like it. And a bunch more clicks. I really don't want to be praising local regiments. I hate spending iron professionalism. Unless I can spend it first, turn it all into manpower. What are we looking at? 13. Not really. Not really. Freaking parliament. Scapegoat, my commandant, are you anything special? You're a level 2 disciplined person. Which I don't mind having. Okay, I don't have a lot of options here, right? I have one, two, three, four praising of local regiments. And then I have those populists. I don't love this. But I think I will go select and recruitment standards twice. Which must be too pretty low professionalism. And then I'm just going to click all the local regiment buttons. Oh, I can't? Oh, okay. That was bad. I'm sorry, but that was really bad. <laughs> so I assumed it would now not be able, like, would I be able to click the button and not lose as much because I don't have any. But this actually essentially means pay, not lose. So yes, we did get manpower for it, but that would have recovered anyway. So I think I just wasted. Yeah, I want to find progress, so we go. That's a pretty sad move, if I do say so myself. Um, colonies, which one of you lost your colonist? It's not you, so it must have been wool now. Send them back. Lost a claim on Tugrupa and Quasi Irbrim. It was Tugrupa. There. It's a Mamluk claim and quasi Ibrib is you. Okay. It did say Makuria and the Mamluks would be what's going lost there, but. Really need to meet. Oh, I should be exploring, shouldn't I? Should be finding China. I know the Ming. I want to rival the Ming. 
Well, since they're not a great power, maybe that's not what we're looking for at all. So I want to find, like, France. The frick France? That's a powerful France. I haven't seen that in a while. But I think going back to exploring and trying to find ourselves a rival is a smart move. Even though we have full-on... Um... Stuffs. You know what I mean. Uh, we have full power projection right now. We're gonna miss having a rival. Protect... No, that's privateer. No, no, no. Wrong campaign. Protect trade. Go vain. I like that the one time I actually don't want a privateer, I click privateer. Uh, so you explore. Um, so if China doesn't count, then exploring more eastwards doesn't do tons. I mean, we're interested in this area in general, but there's a lot of stuff already for us to take. So I think I'll try to go around the Cape instead. With Mauritius there, maybe have a decent amount of range. Maybe. Let's do the South Atlantic, right? Yeah, has to be South Atlantic. Go. Uh, claims on Yemen. Do I not have any claims on Yemen? I do have claims on Yemen. Uh, Adalbo. Uh, Bosaso? Sure. Now, you guys are coming back home. Don't lose infinite amount of attrition or two attrition there, that's good. Um, there was something else in the state, it's RC, right? Yeah, it is. Quite, quite RC. While you folks are sitting around, you might as well sit on them, unresty folks, though. Them there and resty people. Cost coming in is good, so I think I wait for the end of March and then send our cocks out again. After here with 11, might not benefit at all from turning on an edict, so I'm just gonna do that manually. And might. These are hard times apparently for top end. 1st of April, one repair tick. Get, attach, get over there. Is that where we're dropping off? Must be. Where's everybody else? Oh no, I moved the guys from Sunpit over to Australia. The original ones. Okay. Move, move, move. Pesak. More money. Gucci. Oh, uh, we do, uh, after we decide what to click on this button, well, I guess it's our tradition because we just bought a ton of manpower. Uh, I would like to say thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button. And of course, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. And go talk to me in the comments because that's a thing. Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.